In this video, I'm going to teach you how to record with AMD Radeon software. It's a very easy process, so make sure to follow along. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to use the AMD Radeon software recording tools. So, this is going to be available if you have the full AMD Radeon software installed on your PC. If you have the driver only or the essential or minimal version installed, then you will not have the record and stream tab. If needed, download the full AMD Radeon software. So now, go over to Record and Stream. For this video, I'm going to cover how to do recordings, but I'm not going to go in detail about how to live stream. Keep that in mind. So, you will see the panel here and what you can record. You will be able to choose full screen or a specific region. And if you go full screen, you can select your active window. So a game, for example, your web browser, Discord, or a full display. So I'm going to choose my full monitor here. You will be able to use your microphone and camera, so you can click on any of these, and they will either be enabled or disabled. I don't have a camera connected to my PC, so I cannot showcase this. You can control the microphone level, enable or disable push to talk, show an indicator whenever your microphone is active, and then the option to record the desktop. When enabled, your desktop and any open applications can be recorded or streamed, so choose this according to your preferences. Now, you can also go over to settings. You will find record desktop, indication, indicator, and borderless region capture. You can also control the quality of the recording. The higher the quality, the more size it is going to take on your PC. You will have the bitrate control, the audio bitrate, which usually you can leave on default, the encoding type, AV1 is recommended if you have a graphics card that supports it, and other options. You can set up the FPS of the recording and so on. Again, I'm not going to go super in depth about all of these options. You should do your own research and find out what is best for you. You can also change where the media will be saved. So by default, it is going to be on the videos folder and then Radeon Relive or Relive. You will have the options to set up instant replays, instant GIFs, and in-game replay, which is essentially the same as NVIDIA Shadow Play if you ever use that. And then once you actually want to start recording, just click on the option here, start recording. So it is going to take a while and then it's going to say recording process. Now you can go ahead and do whatever you wish. So I'm drawing these lines to use as an example. And once you are satisfied, go back inside of AMD Radeon software and stop the recording. It is going to be saved. Now you can click on this little pencil icon to manage the recording, change between MP4 and an animated GIF, choose the start time and end time. So if you want to cut the video, and if you go over to the folder that I mentioned on videos and then radio on relive, you will find it here. So because I recorded my desktop, it is going to be under unknown and I can play the video back to myself. So here it is. You can clearly see that everything I did was recorded drawing those lines. Then I close down and I open AMD radio on software. So it is very simple to use. So I hope I was able to help you. If this video helped you, please consider subscribing. As you can see, 83% of the people watching our videos are not subscribed. By subscribing, you can help us from the channel make higher quality videos. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.